Could you just park up in that cloud over there, sir, while we check your documentation? Man, it's not just the US, the UK's got like crazy weather as well. That might be a thing when flying cars will be a thing. <laughs> what, pull you over? Second cloud on the left, please. So if we've got crazy hot weather in the US and Europe, like what's going on in Australia? Have they got like crazy cold weather? Flying cars will never happen, Fluke. Now you can't come out with statements like that. You have no idea. thing is, if a car flies, is it really a car? What's the definition? Minus six in Australia. Is that normal? For this time of year, Crow? A hover car? No, if it flies, not hovers, if it actually flies. I mean, the only reason a car is shaped like a car is because of it has to have wheels and an engine and all the rest of it. If it can just fly, it has to be shaped differently. There's already flying cars, you can look it up on YouTube. So, let me ask you a question then, Flug. Do you remember in James Bond, he had a car and he drove it into the sea and then little, like the wheels folded up, little propellers came out the back registration plate, little fins sprouted out and he started to drive around in it like a submarine. Is that, and, th and then afterwards he drove it back onto the beach. Is it still a car or is that something else? It's an amphibious. It's an amphibious car. Okay, so what do you call a car that can become a plane? If a car can go on water, what's a car that can go and fly in the air then? And back on the car and back on the road? What's that called? Is there a word for that? Is there a word for something that can travel on road and fly? Battery H, thank you for 200 bits. Being brake tested by the police now. Just because it says stop. If a Renault falls from the sky, it's still a Renault. No, it's an improvement. Thank you, Battery H. Well, that, that's my point. You're saying it's a plane, but it's not a plane. Is it a flying car? No. In the same way that a car that can become a submarine is not a subcar. It's an amphibious vehicle.
A cosmonaut, yep. MP1. Same with the submachine gun, just because it's called like that doesn't mean it's underwater machine. <laughs> it's not called a submachine gun. The word sub has nothing to do with a submarine. An aero car? What if it's not a car? What if it's like a tank with tracks, but it can sprout wings and fly? It's not a flying car then, is it? It's not an aero car. Is an aero tank? An aerophibious vehicle. Lol, is that even a word? A flying tank, that that's a pretty scary vehicle actually, a flying tank. <laughs> Think about it. What time do you usually get up from bed? It kind of varies. My alarm goes off at 7. Sometimes I get like this. Today I got up at um, 7. No, oh wait. Today I got up at 6.40. Yeah, got my llama for 6.30, got up at 6.40. You got up at 2 a.m.? What? What, 2 a.m. UK time or your time? Speaking of Spitfire, Tommy, <clears throat> yesterday, what, well, last night in bed, I was bouncing around YouTube. I came across a trailer for a film called Spitfire, which I'd never heard of. A 2018 film called Spitfire. Anybody heard of this? So I watched the trailer, and it looked really interesting. And, um... It turns out it was put on cinemas for one day only, on the 17th of July. I was like, what? What's this man? I've never heard of this. In cinemas in the UK on the 17th of July, which I'd never heard of, and will be available to pre-order on DVD and Blu-ray from September the 10th or you can download it on Google Play or Apple iTunes and it was like to commemorate the RAF 100 they, they basically made this um, they basically made this one-off this film called Spitfire which is about Spitfires and they spoke to loads of people who work with them and stuff but it's like this just happened and nobody heard about this I'd love to know how many people made it to watch that film. <laughs> so yeah, have a look at the trailer on uh, YouTube. Just look for Spitfire 2018. You'll see a trailer of it. Looks really good. I want to watch it now. Why one day? I don't know. I presume that was the... It was on, on the day that uh, was the RAF 100 celebration, I presume. Yeah, completely by accident I saw this on YouTube. An amphibian means both a both kind of life flying car technically can be an amphibian. Yeah, but if you said to someone, I've got an amphibious car, they'll think your car goes on water. They will never think your car flies. You just did, Doverkin. Yes, I have an iPad. It's a, an iPad Retina. Doesn't get updated anymore. Still works fine. The 
MF is uh, contracting the Voyager to Jet 2 and Thomas Cook were not in military use. Are they? Scaramanga are the best flying car. Or James Bond are the best gadgets. He always ended up with the right gadget for the movie though, didn't he? McDonald's! God, thank you for two months. You'll take a double cheeseburger. That's my, my favorite, my go-to order when McDonald's is a Big Mac with banana milkshake and a double cheeseburger. That's like my go-to order. Sometimes I'll go Signature. Sometimes I'll go Chicken Legend. Milkshake McDonald's, yeah. They do strawberry, banana, and vanilla and chocolate, I think. Happy meal for you. Lol. You just want the toy, right? Got a quarter of a tank left, but I'll get some fuel soon, Aldi. Welcome to Lithuania. They still do the Big Tasty. Um, I think they do still do the Big Tasty. I'm not 4 to drink straws at McDonald's, Tommy. Haven't they changed their straws now to be um, paper instead of plastic? Yeah, they do a big taste of a bacon trond, yeah. You can get it with or without bacon, if I remember. Squirrel branded burgers, what? I'm not going to get into that, Tommy. Pret a have done that, they're keeping uh, the cutlery below the counters. Yeah, it's annoying because you have to ask for stuff. Like, they don't ever remind you either, they don't offer it. They don't, they don't, like, they see you buying a yogurt pot or something, and they don't go, well, obviously you need a spoon. They just let you walk away, and then come back and go, um, can I have a spoon? Yeah, sure. Why don't you just give it to me? <laughs> Is 
It's the same at McDonald's though. When you um, when you go to the drive-through, like my McDonald's will never ever offer ketchups or sauces or even serviettes. They never offer it. And if you drive away and don't remember to ask for it, you're done because you can't loop back. There's always like a queue of cars. You can't loop back and come back through. Well, you can, but you'll be waiting five minutes. Yes, I do have Discord on my phone. Milkshake machine broke yesterday. Yep, that happened once at my McDonald's. I, I just fancied a milkshake and I went round and the milkshake machine broke. I was like, are you actually kidding me? Like, how often does that happen? So you're in with the oof memes, Trent Simfin. Not bad, Jessix, thank you. Well, I've only ever known it break once at my McDonald's. I don't think we damaged it, did we? Legoglyph. We must be getting ready to level up. There it is. Level 89, legend. 33,800 and 1200 XP. So, we are now... Here. So we'll make it morning and see if we can find somewhere to take a delivery. Let's see what we got. A wind turbine DLC. <laughs> the other components in the wind turbine. Aye, 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 aye. Jules, I haven't had milkshake with ice cream for a long time. You mean like a proper milkshake, Jules? If you go to um, TGI Fridays, they do proper milkshakes. They're not very big, but they're very nice. That's a possibility, 31 tons. It's probably the best one, I think. Oh, do you remember the balloon trailer, Davina? The zero ton balloon trailer. I think it was more like minus one ton, it kept floating. Ouch. My phone stand. Aye, 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 aye. Oof. 
It was just that. It's basically my phone stand. Very handy. Even has a hole in the back with the cable to come through. So your charge cable can just come through. But yeah, it's made out of metal. It's really handy. It means instead of just having your phone on your desk, you can actually have it facing you so that while you're working on your PC, if something, you just tap it. Really handy. Or if you want to watch YouTube and stuff. It only cost about seven quid or something. They do them in black and silver. Got it from Amazon. You made one from Lego. <laughs> Fair enough. I bend such steel at my work with my bare hands. Two months. Good evening, Paul. Just returned from Croatia. Nice to have been uh, have better internet connection again. Uh, it's quite amazing how much stuff will start to update on your PC after not using it for three weeks. Yeah, I can believe that. Nice to chill out before the whole day in the car. To ch oh, after the whole day in the car. Crikey. Yeah, that's a long journey. 100% your wife will leave you when she sees you playing this, little bungo. Well, you're 100% wrong. Because my wife knows I've been playing this for like five years, so... There goes that theory. Yeah, troll bus alert. Ding, ding. Zuckster, 13 months. So have, uh, I've only been able to afford uh, subbing for the past year, but I've been watching your content since the very beginning of your ETS series on YouTube back in 2012, thanks to the great years of entertainment. Thank you for 13 months, Zuckster. Appreciate that, sir. I wouldn't try the horn. Meh. Now, now, little bongo. Need to keep it a bit more classy than that, my man. Elects. Oh yeah. Yeah, the port horn was pretty bad. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. A little bit off though. Jules, I got a desk clamp for your iPhone. A desk clamp? Why do you want to clamp your phone to your desk? I wish this thing had some reversing lights so we can actually see what I'm doing. phone now. Not because the rug phone's no good, but because I use iPhone and so does all my family. And they're all happy with it, so we live in the iOS space. Go to D, 17 months, I would sub if uh, only you would play a good game like Fortnite. Oh, wait. <laughs> Do you know what I like about this truck? When you put the parking brake on, you get these lovely red lights on the dash, you see that? Really nice.
It's to get fuel. If it means to get 100,000 subs, Lone Wolf's worth doing, right? It's worth playing a game you can't stand just to get those views. Maybe we could do like Fortnite case openings as well, right? You have a smartwatch. I have a, um, a Fitbit. That monitors my steps and gym activities and things. And then feeds it into my health app and my health app tells me if I get free cinema tickets. I can feel somebody's. Somebody has just picked up a hammer. <laughs> They're just like going, come on. <laughs> Cross that line. Are you doing good at Quantum Fitbit? Uh. Well, I've done 6,700 steps today. I need to do 7,000 to get my target. That's more like my daily target. It depends what I'm doing, really. But then, like, if I go down oh, to the yeah. gym, if I go down to the gym, I might not get that many steps. But I'll, um, it tracks your heart rate, and then it says, all right, so you, you did a workout God, there's no fuel station. It'll say, if you do like 70% heart rate for 30 minutes, then that gets you loads of points. Now, now, Jessix, don't spoil it, my friend. Jules, my iPhone recently updated to 11.4.1. .1. I didn't share what mine's on. You were doing so well though, Jessix, and it's like gone 7 o'clock and you're kind of slipping a bit. iOS 12 is out soon. I never go to um, the major version straight away. I always wait until they've done like a service pack release. Like tw like in that case it'll be 12.01 or 12.02 and then I'll go to it. I know people who just go, oh my god, the new iOS is out, let's update and get all the new features and then find some really weird bug that affects them. Calbert, thank you for the host. Do they get fresh? I don't know why. Are they old ones? Wait a sec. Is that a fuel station? get this one. <laughs> Just past the fuel station. It was on the other side of the road though. No problem my bad dude. We're okay, we've got an eighth of a tank. See this thing has an info display. But the problem is, you can't read it because the wheel's in the way. I think this thing is built for being here. Can 
hardly read that, that's insane. Look at that. The text on it is so squashed. I've already played around with it, Smooth Dog, like it honestly just makes it worse. If you tilt your wheel up, it just covers up even more. Second or the second troll is on the troll bus. Did you say you've done your cross country? I've done my first cross country this week and hopefully you can watch the video this week. No, it's the same people, Heyman. It's the same people every week with new accounts. Just coming in, having a little fun. And then they go, they just like sit on Discord with each other going, <laughs> like little four year olds, and then they go away. Next week they come back and do it again. Watch your mobile, I've drained my battery. Great stream as always. No problem, network. Catch you later, have a good one. No, not Balkans. Not if you mean the DLC, anyway. Yeah, when did they break up for holidays, legit gamer? Must be soon. Friday this week as in the Friday just gone or the Friday coming up this week or next week depends what you call next week this week did you get to do a lap on the Formula 1 Senate Sphere yesterday no I basically do you want me to tell you what I did London lad I f I fixed the equipment for him <laughs> I recalibrated the Fanatec pedals and wheel because it was just Apparently on Friday people were all over the all over the uh, track because the wheels and pedal were, weren't configured correctly. So the throttle, when they pushed the throttle down, oh, yeah, wasn't yeah. going to 100%. It kept blipping on and off. And the brake, every time they took the foot off the brake, if they just rested it very lightly on the brake pedal, it started to brake so they couldn't get top speed. So I installed the Fanatec drivers, brought up the software and recalibrated it, and then recentered the wheel. And then it was absolutely flawless. Started up Project Cars and then went away and then didn't get to go on it. <laughs> so I didn't even get to try. Good times. Adam Cube, thank you for the bits. I have no idea what that number is. Is that your credit card? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it, London Lad. <laughs> At least everybody else got to play on it. I mean, this is Rog. Rog don't make pedals and wheels, so they don't know oh, yeah, how yeah. to configure Fanatec stuff. I happen to have it, so I do. Mr. Coom, thank you for subbing. Welcome to Nows. Thank you for the nutty welcome, guys. Adam Cubed, I bet you didn't read that number. Up. Uh, I am part of the troll bus now. I, I saw the number. I didn't read it. I'm beginning to wonder 
how far this fuel station is because I'm getting a bit worried about the fuel level. At least this one's on this side of the road. What was that? Just a random drive through? Yes, it's an MP1. No, it's not the Steam Workshop pipe, I do. I don't believe so, anyway. Oh. Hmm? You go for a walk with him. Okay. When are you back? All right. Yes, it's Mrs. Squirrel. She's taking Doll out for a walk for about an hour, and then Doll will be on. Dutch driver, welcome back. Squirrel Logistics just upgraded my rig to the Cosmos C700P, and it's better than the Cosmos 2. Not familiar with it. Thank you for the 500 bit Squirrel Logistics. What version of iPhone 10 do you have? Oh, this is the, the big one. That's what you mean. Yeah, I don't do for small screen phones. I've got fat fingers. Tommy, it wouldn't make any difference, my man. If I put on the screen what truck I was driving, I guarantee you people would still come in the chat and say, what truck is that? Have you heard any news on Farm Sim 19? Only what they've published. Oh, they really will, Audi. Yeah, they do. All the time. What game is this? And it literally tells you on Twitch. You meant the storage and colour. Oh. Uh, 64 gig black. Tandem hype. Whoa, stuttering. Well, Hendo, do you remember when I was configuring the truck? And there was one guy going, I can't remember how he phrased it now, but basically said, that is one ugly truck. <laughs> I've never tried track app MIP, so I don't know. You're probably better looking for like a review site or something. There's no point, Indy. There's no point. People will say, what time is it where you are? That's a classic example, Indy. It happens all the time. They'll say, what time is it where you are? And it's on the screen. If I put the truck up there, they'll say, what truck are you driving? If I put the game up there, they'll say, what game are you playing? The 
There is no PO box. XQ, welcome back. Title said old school is kind of expecting a slipper cam and wheel cam. Whoa. Well, that's a great sign. UK Aviator, welcome to the net house. Thank you for the nutty welcome, guys. Thanks for the support, UK Aviator. Oh, not there, not there. Just a little bit further down there. I don't understand why this mod allows a silver tank, petrol tank, or red tank. Like, why not a few colours? Armour 3 servers. You probably better go into an Armour 3 ser like stream, Adam, and ask him that. I don't play Armour 3 here. I wish you could turn it off, Cobalt. Yeah, I know what it is. If I operate my uh, split shift button like this, and then back, and then back. So it's basically every time you operate the, um, the range or the split shifter, it's simulating the clack. Uh, Samus Worth, welcome to the house, Samus. Thank you very much for your support. Thanks for the nutty welcome, guys. Uh, Promo to Capoli, yeah, yeah. I have Promo installed. Where are we heading? Uh, Valka. We're heading to Valka Transinit. was a bit bumpy. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a very reflective coke can. How's the train journey yesterday? It's fine. Nothing. Nothing monumental happened. Mars5893, thank you for the bits. Give it a good voice for a lovely content. Thank you, bro. What is it with these map designers to keep putting signs in, like, critical viewing areas? 